Some of you may be familiar with some of these social sharing you know, apps you see your friends. So you may have noticed that some of your very conservative friends are sharing some very racy content. A rabbi I know recently seemed to have shared you know, girls in sexy clothing on bikes. Uh, a conservative corporate lawyer you know, had a similarly you know, off color. And I'm thinking, they have no clue that by watching the video that seemed a bit titillating, um, they shared it widely with all their friends and sort of signed up and became a member of this sort of thing. And so, you know, I reached out. You who was home. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, and so I reached out to this guy, uh, the, the, the developer of this app, and it took him three days to call me back, and he was very apologetic. He said, I went from a million to 40 million users in three days. So I apologize for not calling you back. Um, I'll have the changes that you think need to be made by tomorrow. I have three employees. I was like, oh my god, and you have 50 million customers now with information about them in some interesting cloud you know, somewhere. So amazing in terms of innovation that he could scale from nothing to, this is social cam for those of you who want to risk your, um, uh, your fates. Um, so yes, remarkable that someone can have you know, nothing other than three people writing code um, and use you know Amazon Web Services and all sorts of outsource things, and then tie into you know a, a, a social media engine and scale like that. And by God, who knows what the rules around this guy's use of data and what he's going to do with it and so forth. And so, um, agree, some differences.